Iran has launched a comprehensive set of war games, banning all units of the Islamic Republic, conducting drills that included the launching of missiles, torpedoes, and drones in a bid to deter any potential threats. The exercise is a part of an annual series known as Zulfiqar, which kicks off this year on Sunday in southern Iran, near the launch on the Persian Gulf. Among the array of the missiles fired as the exercise reached its second day on Monday, where Qadir, Qadir, and Nasser anti-ship missiles along with anti-warcraft systems such as the 15 Kordal and Mesad undersea submarines Aris, Tariq and Aris Khadir fired full jar torpedoes at mock targets. Iran also employed the use of light ring munitions commonly known as the suicide drones to take out simulated enemies. One model seen in imagery released by the Iranian military inclu included the Arash, which flew a long distance before crashing into a pre-designed target on the side of the mountain. As the drills commenced on Sunday, Major General Ghulam Ali, Rashid commander of the Khatam al-Anbiya Central Headquarters, described the maneuvers as designed to preserve the territory of integrity of Deir Iran, as well as the position of the power of the religion and the region, against the collision of enemies and the specific army. The Islamic Revolution Guard Corps will crush any threat posed by the arrogant and aggressive powers at any given cost and at any given level and originated from any, any territory. Rashid said Iran's drill began just a day after the U.S. Navy conducted a missile exercise of its own in the Persian Gulf. Iranian forces fire surface to air missile during the Zulfiqar 1400 military exercises on the 7th of November. Iran has also warned foes that it was capable of defending the Islamic Republic by air, land, and sea. Especially, it directed the messages to the country's top two foes, Israel and the United States. In a press release published Sunday, U.S. Central Command said U.S. Navy patrol coastal ships conducted a live fire exercise with the MK-60 Griffin guided missile system in the Arabian Gulf. November 4 to November 6 to test crew proficiency and system functionality. The U.S. military often uses the term Arabian Gulf to, to describe the region more commonly known as internationally as the Persian Gulf. Due to links between the Pentagon and the proper Arabian Peninsula, says the host that U.S. forces as well as the greater dispute that exists between the Washington and Tehran. Vessels that participated in the U.S. training included coastal patrol ships, USS both fires, and U.S. Thunderbolt, USS Tempest, U.S. Cook, and U.S. Hurricane. Exponentially mobile base form patrols, platform ships, USS Lewis B, and polar guided missiles. Days earlier, the Iran's Evolutionary Guard released a footage of tense encounter that took place a week prior between the elite branches naval forces and the U.S. Fifth Fleet. The video shows Iran's forces storming a Vietnamese flag oil tanker based on accusations that it was involved in an incident in which the U.S. seized Iranian oil.